Hello. Today I will be talking about movie review number 511. And this movie is called Jurassic World 3 Dominion. Jurassic World 3 Dominion is a 2022 film directed by Colin Trevorrow, who also directed the first Jurassic World movie. So, this is a Universal Pictures and Albion Entertainment movie that I saw on July 24th, 2022 at AMC Westchester 18 in Westchester, Ohio in 3D. Yeah, I saw this in 3D. So, this takes place four years after the events of Jurassic World 2 Fallen Kingdom. So this takes place four years after the destruction of Easter Numbra, where dinosaurs now live and hunt alongside humans all over the world. This fragile balance will reshape the future and determine once and for all whether human beings are to remain the outcast predators on a planet they now share with history's most fearsome creatures. So, after the events of the second film, dinosaurs and humans live in the same world. Which means that the human race are in a little bit of a pickle. So, this takes place four years after the destruction of Eastern Nobra, where biased and operatives attempt to track down Macy Rockwood who, who is raised by Chris Pratt and Bryce Dallas Howard's characters in the film, while Dr. Ellie Sadler investigates a genetically engineered swarm of giant insects. So, this is a really great movie, because it has the characters from Jurassic World, but it also has the characters from Jurassic Park. After surviving the destruction of Ice and Nubra and dealing with conspiracy at the Rockwood estate, Owen Grady, who is played by Chris Pratt, and Creole Deering, who is played by Bryce Dallas Rockwood, took Rockwood's granddaughter Macy with them upon learning she's actually the clone of Rockwood's daughter. They have been living under the radar to protect Massey, Macy, but she feels like a prisoner one day. Prisoner. One day, Brew the Raptor Grey Train at Isla Nubra and Bonded, which shows up and reveals that she bored an offspring, which is impossible. Men are watching them and they are tortured in Macy and Brew's child, which they do. Owen and Creole set out to find them. And they asked some friends to help them, and they eventually learned that it was Lewis Dawson, who was the owner of Biosyn, who ordered the abduction at the same time the country's crops were being attacked by some unusual workers. This causes Ellie Sadler, who is played by Laura Dern in the film, investigates and suspects the workers were created by Dawson, who wants the world to rely on his crops that the workers have not touched. So she asks Dr. Alan Grant, who was played by Sam Neill in the film, and her former partners, help her. She was contacted by Ian Malcolm, who was played by Jeff Goldblum in the film, who works for Dawson, who invites him to Dawson Dinosaur Sanctuary, which is also his rap. They set out to prove Dawson's schemes, but in the process, they meet Macy, who bonded with Bruce Child, whom she named the Beta, then try to escape, but Dawson tries to stop them. So, this is a really great movie. And so, this comes full circle when we see the characters from the Jurassic World series, like Owen, Grady, and Creole, and Creole Dealing, and Macy Rockwood. And then we have the characters from the original Jurassic Park. Dr. Alan Grant, Dr. Ellie Sattler, and Ian Malcolm. So this is like a, re a reunion to receive the new and old characters to reunite. I mean, appeal to Devil for the first time. And it also continues the, the story that was established in the second film of Macy Rockwood, who Owen and Creole decided to raise 
ways after they finished the second film. And this, and I really like Jurassic World 3 Dominion because, like I said, it is the conclusion of the Jurassic era. And it forms into a new era. I won't say how it ends, but it's definitely a thrill ride, in my opinion. And I really enjoyed this. I remember seeing Jurassic World 1 in 2015 at AMC Westchester 18, and in 2020 at Audrey Cinema in Eastgate. And then I saw Jurassic World 2 Fallen Kingdom at 2018 at Colony Studio Cinema 7 in Lebanon. And now I got to see Jurassic World 3 Dominion at AMC Westchester 18. So I don't know what will happen to the franchise since this, this is kind of like the conclusion of the Jurassic era, but it may not be the end of the franchise. But we will see. So that's my movie, movie review of Jurassic World 3 Dominion. Please stay tuned for my, please stay tuned for my next movie review. Alright, goodbye.